Yeah, Monaco is special. The location, the weather, its history, its legacy. You know, everything combined of what you want for a race, you got it all in, uh, in, in one place. People see it as a very glamorous race, but for us racing drivers, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of business as usual around here. You know, I won here last year, but this year there's a lot of new things, new car, new team, a different championship. So, you know, what happened here in the past doesn't really mean anything anymore. Scruffy from Van Dorn. Here is Jean-Eric Verne. It's getting a bit of traffic ahead. Doesn't improve. He's gonna have to keep pushing. not because you've won a race or you've won a championship that then your job is done. Actually, I almost feel the opposite about it. Yeah, once you've won a race or a championship, the kind of the eyes are on you and you have to, yeah, you have to confirm it and do it all over again. It might not be everybody's favorite race on the calendar, but it is certainly mine. Very, very strong race as well for Jean-Eric Verne here in the DS Penske. He started last and he's now got up into seventh place. Oh, here comes Verlein on Van Dorn. Side by side. Verline is desperate to make a move here on Stoffel van Dorn, but is not quite able to do so. DS Penske started at the back, but both of them race winners here in the past, so a shame for them. We're going to finish behind the safety car here. I think to be a, a great racing driver, you need to be good in every field. You need to be aggressive in the race, you need to be smart, know when to give up or when not to give up. I think it's the combination of, of the hard work and that you put with your team. Obviously, after a race, you're into, into debriefs, back into the data, looking how you can improve things, kind of focusing on, on your next target.